What's up, what's up? What's up, guys? This is uh, Marvel Legends 2 Packs Deadpool and Warpath Variant Review. Anyways, let's uh, move these two out of the way. This is the package they come in. The package is absolutely the same thing. It's not different. The only difference are the figures inside the package. Um, so let's just take a quick look at this uh, package, uh, the pictures uh, around the package. And uh, just to give you an idea of what you're going to be looking for when you head to Toys R Us. You know what's funny is because uh, uh, Deadpool was our choice and Warpath was uh, was actually uh, their choice. You, you wait till you see what they wrote in the back. Uh, I don't want to spoil it for you guys, but it kind of doesn't make sense. Anyways, let's move on. Uh, let's take a look at these guys. Awesome figures, man. Um, I'm I'm a sucker for uh, for for different suits, uh, especially this suit. Uh, he he wears this suit most of the time when he's running with the uh x-men team um like the astonishing x-men uh if any of you guys uh have read a couple or the or the last deadpool uh paperback that came out he was in there with the uh, astonishing x-men and he was wearing the suit so i i dig this suit man i really really like it and uh the warpath variant is uh is pretty cool as well too it's the uh, classic x-force costume so we almost got a full X Force team going on. Let's uh, let's move on with Warpath and do a quick comparison. Here we have both of the Warpaths, the regular and the variant. There is some uh, subtle differences between the two figures. First and foremost, uh, right here at the bicep, uh, the bicep goes all the way up, and on the uh, regular Warpath, he's kind of got a shirt sleeve painted on. So uh, th there is a few subtle differences, you know, the uh, blue paint uh, here versus the black paint and the red versus the silver. The mask has got a red mask uh, and they put the uh, white eyes, which is pretty cool. Um, there's no silver on the nose uh, like the regular. The skin tone uh, seems to be just a little darker and it's got freckles uh, on, the, uh, on the variant. Of course, you see the uh, arm wristband was painted yellow. The uh, belt is yellow. So this is definitely a cool X-Force uh, classic figure here. Um, you can build up your classic X-Force team with your cannonball and your domino and your uh, cable. Um, so now you're just missing a, a few characters like Shatterstar and Boom Boom, and uh, there you go. Anyways, so here's the back of the figure you can see it's got some cool washes in there like the back of the leg the front of the leg it's got like a lighter shade of blue uh, or a lighter shade of gray on the regular version um, both of these figures are just man they're hot man I really really like these figures um, now this is a, a combined uh, mold of the old Hulkling body but with a resculpted chest so it's it's a reuse of a classic Toy Biz figure, but with the Hasbro touch, and the Hasbro touch is, is good. I, I definitely dig it. Um, here we've got the regular articulation on the hands. Uh, first, uh, let me let me pop these knives off here. Give me give me a minute. Okay, uh, back to the two figures. Now, I just want to give you guys a good comparison of both figs before we uh, we get into articulation so let's uh let's soak it up a little bit Now, I know it's kind of redundant to just keep showing the figure over and over, but it beats uh, you guys having to replay the video and watch it from the beginning. Plus, these figures uh, were out in New York, uh, so I doubt they'll be out everywhere for mass production, at least in a couple of weeks. Uh, Hasbro has a tendency of doing that. They, they'll they release all the new stuff, like the Nemesis Wave. They'll release it at San Diego uh, before it actually uh, takes off. 
uh, and then they'll do the same thing with New York Comic Con. Here are the two uh, knives he comes with. Look at that. I'm these. These are pretty uh, pretty accurate to the uh, comic book, and uh, they're a great size too. Now these things uh, snugly fit in the back, uh, and they kind of clip. They kind of pop on a bit. Now if you're not careful, you can over push it in, but they kind of pop in a little bit, and you need both in there to kind of hold each other in. Uh, so it's kind of like a kind of like a lock uh, that they both do. And see right here when you push that in, it kind of clips a little bit. And that's kind of like sealing the deal there. So they're pretty, uh, they'll stay on there really well. Um, and that looks, that looks pretty cool. They don't, they don't stick out as much either. Just the handles just a bit from the back. So, uh, that looks really freaking cool. Uh, awesome figure. Anyways, let's go back here. We've got the, uh, forearm swivel. We've got a single joint for the enormous bicep. Um, they tend to do that with larger figures like Hulk figures or, big figures we got the swivel we've got the shoulder ball joint look up down left right uh right here at the torso we're missing some abs what sentry was complaining about if you want to see an original review of the first warpath i'll put a link in the description for a uh, sentry's review here we've got the uh swivel the ball joint the double jointed uh knees then we've got the uh toe uh articulation the pivot a little bit of pivot and forward and backward at the ankle. There's no calf articulation, uh, which is kind of uh, uh, okay with me just because who, who twists at the ankle? Anyways, these straps right here, they're not sculpted on, they're rubber. They're, uh, they're rubber and they're kind of glued on, so I don't know if you buy an extra warpath, uh, maybe you can strip that stuff off and, you know, I don't know, make another custom. Maybe a Thunderbird classic custom. Anyways, uh, let's move on to the uh, Deadpool's. Let's take a good look here, soak it in a little bit. All right, guys, let's start with the colors. Uh, just a simple switch in colors. Uh, eyes, yellow around the eyes, white, and a blue. And this blue does have washes. If you see some darker areas of the blue, it, it actually has a little bit of overspray which is cool, which is better than a bland blue. Now, the buckle there has a Deadpool sign, but I believe in the X-Men costume, he's supposed to have another X at the belt. So that's the only thing that I think is not accurate. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, I just remember seeing an X there instead of the Deadpool symbol. But uh, very well painted. The lines are straight and accurate. Um, they're, uh, gosh, I mean, the figure has very few blemishes, if any, um, but it, it's... Uh, as you can see here, just the colors are flopped around the boots. Got the brown and yellow buckle. Um, same, everything's the same. Just like I said, the uh, color has been changed a bit. Um, there we've got the uh, yellow line. We've got all the same articulation, kind of a quick silver articulation, except for the feet. The feet don't have the ankle pivot or the uh, toe articulation. Um, here in the back, uh, we have the size. Uh, I'll show you guys in a minute what we can do with the size here. The gun, you actually get a regular gun with the Deadpool, and the regular uh, the regular Deadpool gives you actually like a splattered Deadpool symbol on the weapon. Uh, so only the regular Deadpool comes with the uh, symbol on the gun, not the variant. So, anyways, let's get back into the variant now. See these size? These these uh, actually pop right off. And uh, you can actually slip him through the harness if you raise his hands up. You can take that harness off and, uh, you know, have him around, running around without the harness. Now, what's cool is, um, let me pop that back on. On the, um, <clears throat> on the red Deadpool, if you slip that harness off, um, you can actually, uh, you know, put maybe the classic harness on from your Toy Biz Deadpool. Uh, I don't know if you want to give him a, a you know, different look. Quickly, let's go over the articulation. We've got the single joint uh, wrist, double jointed elbow, swivel, uh, shoulder ball joint, and the swivel at the uh, chest, uh, both sides, kind of like the quicksilver. And, uh, you know, regular torso articulation, swivel at the waist, ball jointed, double jointed knees, and uh, the single joint on the foot. Uh, once again, this slips off which is pretty cool. Maybe if you buy a couple of Deadpools, you can add the other one to the other side. 
uh, except the gun will be facing the, the wrong way, which is a uh, but cool thing for us customizers, you know, something we can slip off and use for another figure or whatnot. Um, here the uh, the neck brace is actually uh, sculpted on, it's not rubber, and uh, it's brown and yellow versus the black one on the regular. See the uh, X symbol on the harness as well too? That's uh, different, but once again, the uh, belt in the front, uh, I believe it's supposed to have an X. I don't know. I'll have to check my comic books again. Anyways, correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know. Um, let's move on here. Now, here's the uh, final shot of both figures standing next to each other. So uh, let's get a final look at these guys. Uh, you know, I honestly believe Hasbro is going to pump out quite a few of these. I don't know the production numbers, but I know that they know that these are going to be popular, especially it being a fan's choice item. So uh, hold on to your bridges, guys. Don't go pay 98 bucks. You know, uh, try the hunt first. Try to see if you can score these. And uh, for some reason, we run out and everybody's screwed because they're going to be hot. But uh, anyways, let me know what you guys think and uh, give me some feedback. All right, you guys, take care. See you next time. Ha 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 